OK, YouTubers and space detectives, today I've got some more gigapans for you to check out and some new finds as well, not just old stuff. Um, I'll put a link to the main page here, Artanian TV gigapans. Now these are mostly Curiosity Rover gigapans, but there are some moon ones and opportunity ones as well. And I'll be adding other stuff soon as well from different planets as well. So do keep an eye on this main page here because this is being updated every day with new stuff. And there will be new finds and old finds and a mixture of all sorts of things coming up soon from all over the place, okay? Not just on Mars. Um, now, today, I'm quickly going to show you this one. This is uh, Sol 77. So this is going right back to the early days of the Curiosity rover uh, on, on the surface of Gale Crater here. And we have this Gigapan, which is completely raw. I haven't enhanced it in any way whatsoever, just enlarged it. And... Um, some new finds. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is what looks to me like a creature, possibly living creature. And we have it just here. Now, it's very hard to spot this, and I wasn't really looking for it at all. In fact, I found it by accident when I was looking at this thing here, which looks a bit like a bit of petrified wood or something, something very strange here. And I was looking at this and I thought, I actually spotted this years and years ago, um, like 2014 or something, this thing here. But never showed, I don't think I ever showed it in a video. And uh, I was looking at that and I thought, hang on a minute, what's that next to it? Just here. There's what looks like a little creature here. There's its head and its nose. It's got a leg here. There's another one here. And it's got a slightly arched back coming round like this. Now, I, I appreciate that's really hard to see. This isn't very big. This is the size of a rodent, like a rat or a little meerkat or something that kind of size, okay? It's not very big. That's why it's hard to see, and it's camouflaged. Not only do, does it probably have its own camouflage, but these images are camouflaged by NASA because they add the orange puke filter to everything, which makes everything go this orangey-brown colour, okay? So that makes... Everything looked very, very similar and flattens everything. It makes it hard to see what's actually there. Uh, so what I did, I took a clip of that and I put it down here for you to have a look at. Uh, there it is. Now here's the meme clip I just did a few hours ago. So that was spotted actually last night and I put the meme together today. And uh, there it is. And um, When you brighten this up, if you colour correct it slightly, like I've done here, it's a bit bluer. And then brighten it quite a lot with some contrast and stuff and you can see it just there if I zoom in there we have it we got two eyes a black nose a little head with little ears it, it's almost kind of like a squirrel or a, a meerkat or a rat or I don't know what it is it doesn't really conform to any of those actually so I'm just suggesting what it could be I'm not saying what it is um, it's got a curved back and it's got a leg I've got a chubby sort of front leg here with a uh, the foot holding onto this bit of rock here and there's another arm or leg would you call it an arm or leg I don't know <laughs> the leg coming down here front leg just there now it's not very clear so I got it up here in my graphics processing software and the thing that initially got got me interested in this one was this thing and it, it's very odd we got this kind of big Object was not that big. This is probably only about a foot or two, about a foot across, maybe, maybe a bit longer. Um, so this little thing is is quite small. But there's some very odd shapes in here, and I don't really know what that is. This may be part of something. It may be some petrified wood, like I said. It, it kind of um, it kind of comes around like that, and it's got these long parts to it, which looks to me like a tree trunk. But it's got these weird holes and shapes in it, so I don't know what that is. I just thought I'd show that to you now, as we're here. But the real thing that, that I spotted after that was the little meerkat thing. And this is the back. This is the head up here. Got little ears. Comes around like that. It's looking to the left. Leg. Coming down like that, leg here, hand or foot, coming up like that, belly, 
just there, and the possible bat leg sticking up there. I don't. It's kind of obscured by this rock in front, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. But if you look closely, you can actually see it's got a little face. All right, this is tiny, so you're not going to see a lot of detail here, but you're going to see something. Nose, cheek, other cheek, ear, and ear, and a kind of slot-like black area where the eyes are. Now this may have very small little black eyes in there, but we can't see that because the resolution of the camera is not good enough to pick it up. Um, it's at the back of the image and the camera isn't that focused on anything really. Everything looks a little bit fuzzy, especially when you zoom in too far. Um, but it, it looks like a creature, what can I say? I don't know what it is, I'm calling it a meerkat, mainly because other things similar to meerkats have been found that are not very far from here. There's one at Seoul 198, I think it is. Um, and on the Gigapan, incidentally, when you click on the info here, this will take you to other videos showing very similar things. Now, the whole part of Gale Crater we're in here is littered with little skulls and, and things that look like they're from little rodents and, and most of the time they're too small and too far away f to see in any detail but occasionally we do see them closer to the rover and they're not they're only about an inch the, the skulls are about an inch across they're really small and um, I wonder whether this is one of them because I've seen loads of these little skulls and they're tiny some of them look a bit like lemurs some look a little bit like monkeys, little tiny monkeys. Some of them look a bit like rodents. Uh, there's all sorts. I have found dead rodents. And there's all sorts of other animals that I found in the area, including lizards and everything else. Um, so this may be related to some of the other things that I've found. So I put links here, and there will be more links in here when I finish this video, to this video and others as well. So I'm not making this stuff up. I've done extensive research on this over the years, and I've found what looked like calcified creatures as well as what, what are mainly skulls and, and remains on the ground but some of them are kind of fossilized in, in mud in the, in the lake sediment and they've hardened out but this one may be living I doubt it but it, it is possible it's not in a death posture it's stood up on its hind legs here and it's looking this way over to the left and down or the, at least the nose is pointing that way. I'm, I'm assuming this long thing here is the nose or snout. It's not in great detail, but you can see this leg here coming over this little rock thing and another leg there and you can see the, the chest there and the belly here. Right? And there's a fold there like there would be if there was a belly and a kind of fuzzy outline as if it's furry like that on the back. So who knows, um, it's a shame you can't see any finger detail really. So there was that, so that was cool. There was also this thing, now I don't claim to have found this, this has been published loads of times by many people over the years on various channels. Uh, I, I wasn't the first to find this at all, So, and I don't know who did find it, because it's been doing the rounds for a very long time, since the, almost since the day it, was, it came out, this image. And uh, this looks like a corpse an eroded animal corpse. Now if I show you on the Gigapan where to look, there's the clip of it there, it's up here somewhere, there it is, up there. This is also pretty small. Um, how big? Five inches? Seven inches? Don't know. So it's a small animal that's died on the surface, has become dehydrated, dried out, preserved in the, in the bicarbonate and sulfate minerals in the sand, which is basically a lake bed, uh, which was a salt lake. And uh, it's all dried out, and it's kind of mummified and, and dried out and desiccated. The, the limbs here have come away, and we have here at the, on the right-hand side vertebrae here. One, two, three, and a broken one at the end. We've got a row of vertebrae. We've got a broken limb here, another one here, another one here, kind of folded back, kind of broken limb parts, and a possible tail at the other end. This is the body, but the head's missing. There may be a skull in the area. There's lots of animal skulls in this area. It may be moved. The body may have been dragged. There may be a tsunami or something that dragged it along through the lake, like a tidal wave or something, and then it got sort of flung 
into this position. We, we don't know, but it's got a gap. It's got gaps underneath it. Now, this is very similar, if you look at the gaps underneath, to other ones that I found, and I'll put links to them um, as well. Um, it doesn't say a lot here at the moment, but there will be lots more links for this going to other similar things. There are some here. So there are other corpses that look very similar to this, very close to this, in other souls that aren't very far away. In other words, they're all over the place. Some of them look like recognisable creatures, but a lot of them are so badly desiccated and, and torn and, and eroded that you can't tell what they are. But I'm pretty sure this is an animal corpse because there are many others that I found and it, it, it looks very, very similar. Some of them have still got heads on them and you can actually recognise kind of what they are, what type of creature, but not exactly. So there was that. Um, check that out. I don't really need to outline that really. I'll just quickly point out the vertebrae at the front here. We've got a leg here, broken front leg, another leg here, broken off. What seems to be another leg here, and we've got this bit coming back, this looks like a broken leg. And this is another one, possibly. But it could even be the other way around. This could be a head here, and this could be a vertebrae from a tail. Don't know. But these look like vertebrae here. You can see them, the sections here. Bones, okay? But they're eroded. This would have had flesh on it. And when it died, it could have been partly eaten um, by critters like rodents or whatever. And um, it then freeze dried and preserved and went hard and all, all this moisture dried out. And it's, it basically fossilized in, in the sort of bicarbonate minerals here. And uh, the reason it's got gaps underneath it is because the wind's actually blown underneath it, blown the sand away, and there's eroded under it as well as over it and around it. Okay. There are lots of these, I've shown many over the years, uh, and I will put some clips in for you to look at of other ones very similar to this as well. So there's plenty of those where they came from. Um, that's not the only one. So we've got a possible meerkat or rodent, we've got a corpse, and then we have this thing. And I don't know what it is. I have no idea what type of thing this represents. It looks like a creature to me. I could be wrong, but what we have here I'll show it on the Gigapan in a sec. Is a head, round head, jagged teeth, right? Very hard to get your head round. And we've got a sort of um, something going on here. This is a possible eye or whatever here. Not really sure. But whatever it is, this thing has got an arm sticking out here is eroded also. We've got two bones, two arm bones. We have a thumb here and a paw here coming around like this which is broken and, and partially obscured by the, the mud and uh, sand here. So this looks like some kind of creature. This is the head. God knows what it is. Um, but whatever it was seems to have great big teeth and there's also loads of weird things next to it which I can't really make out. They're very old and some of them look like animal parts. But this thing here looks like it seems to have an arm sticking out. In fact, if you look at it from smaller zoom here, from less zoom, um, you can see that arm sticking out there. This may be an optical trick but it, it looks very, very strange to me and there, there's loads and loads of animal remains in this area but some of them are all kind of broken or partially caked in mud and crap and dried out so they're quite complex a lot of these things and when you counter into that thousands of years of erosion they're quite hard to, to actually recognize as creatures in it at all and usually what I go for are teeth and this th thing has got big pointed jagged teeth like that so who knows what that is let me show you where to look on here I've got it marked up here somewhere here it is so if you don't zoom in too far, you can actually see it pretty clearly. When you go right in, it gets a bit blurry, but you can see those teeth and this arm with a thumb and fingers or like a paw sticking out. So this is some kind of animal, I think. I could be wrong. 
but there do seem to be lots of other remains around it as well, little weird things, but some of them are just unrecognisable, and there's so much erosion in these things. They must have been there for thousands of years, um, and the, the winds kind of eroded a lot of the shapes away. There's also this bottle here, which I also showed many years ago, one of my very early videos from, with, I think, 2013 or something. This one here, there's a link to the original video there, um, bottle. Now, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's bottle-shaped, and in fact, when you enhance it a bit, it, it, it's got a nice colour to it. It goes a sort of greeny-blue colour, um, like glass. So that may or may not be a bottle, but it certainly looks like one, and is shaped like one, and is a bottle kind of size, not a very large bottle. There's, there's loads of stuff in here. The bottle, strange creature, meerkat, weird kind of rodent thing there which is the star of the show really, because basically it's a bit vague and well camouflaged, but it's there, you can see that nose and those little ears and the back and the legs and the little belly there, kind of curved around like that. Crazy, I was really pleased with that last time when I found it because most of the animals I find look like this and they're not very pleasing to the eye and they've been basically torn to pieces and then dried out and fossilized in, in, the, in the minerals and um, are basically a collection of skin and bone, all kind of contorted, eroded, and broken up, and bits missing, like limbs and stuff. And whilst I'm on the, on the subject, there is another new gigapan I wanted to, wanted to show you. Um, there's this one here. Now, this one took a lot of work. I spent all day on it yesterday. And this is called Battlefield Mars, and what this shows is one of the possible cannon type structures on the ridge line up here. Now this is a lovely image. This is slightly enhanced, this is, it's not raw. So the colour's been enhanced a little bit on this image, so it's not raw at all. Um, if it says EN, that means enhanced. Um, but this is a great image and really clear. You can see this big mound over here, and you've got the main mound. You've got that weird thing sticking out there, which is a, it's probably just a rock. It's like a slab that's kind of flipped up and it's kind of sticking up. Uh, nothing crazy about that, but over here we have, if you go all the way along, we have the cannon, and it's marked here. Gun emplacement, okay? So that's where it is, so it's right above the rover, just here, in the, right at the back, and it's quite a way off, but it's not very big. It's only a few feet in size, maybe, if that. Um, it's quite small, but lots of the things on Mars are small doesn't matter. The point is, we have tanks, we have guns, we have a, a corroded machine gun here, this thing. I've shown these before, there's what well, looks like another machine gun here, there's the cannon, there's a, a nice close-up of it here, the howitzer or gun emplacement I call it. But it wasn't found by me, this was found by Louis C. Franco in 2020, February 27th. Okay, there's uh, links by all these images here to the relevant videos, like this one, which is Battlefield Mars, the main video. And there's a couple of videos associated with that. There's the down plane or missile thing, which seems to have someone still sat in it just here. You see a head there and an arm coming down with fingers. So there's a dead person in there, it seems, like a pilot. This is a wrecked plane or something, or boat perhaps. There's this thing looks a bit like a gun, but probably isn't. Um, there's the trooper in a helmet, just there. Just there, look, look at that. And then, on, right on the end, we have Louis C. Franco's original clip that he put up on Facebook here. So full credit to Louis for this find. I still think this is one of the best finds in recent years. And uh, it's fascinating. And especially when he put it up against all the other images that, that kind of are associated with it, like the cannon going right back, um, which made my channel famous back in 2013. This one here, 2013-14, that went famous. Um, uh, went viral all over the world. And uh, But there's recent tanks and things like this. That, that This one was found by Vladimir Vladimirov um, about two years ago, and still one of my favorite finds of all time. There's this one, which is recent. This looks like a bit like a cannon, which is on top of this ridge up here. And there's links, if you follow the links, this will link you to other gigapans, videos, and other images, okay? All these are fully linked up. 
And if you want anything like the original images to, to make your own Gigapan, you can click on this link at the top here. It says Caltech MSSS there. That will take you to the page where the original images came from. So it's all linked up. It's all done properly with credits and links to all the right people. Um, because some of the best finds weren't find, found by me, of course. Uh, some of them were found by other people. So really cool. And uh, this is just a lovely Gigapan. Um, it's got really good detail. And you can see right off into the distance here. And you've got the ridge line in the back. And there's loads of weird little things and fragments here. Um, nothing amazing, but very interesting. And you've got a really good shot of the rover here. And you can see it in very high detail. You can see all the individual grains of sand and stuff on the back of the rover here. Very high detail. Uh, one of the reasons why it's better is because this set of images were taken by the Mali cam, which is the arm cam, and not the mass cam, which is this one up, up here. The mass cam isn't that bad, but the, the arm cam, or the Mali cam, the Mars hand lens, lens imager, is actually a better camera, and it seems to focus better, and uh, I think it's better all round, basically. So images taken with that are generally pretty good and fairly clear. But do check this out. There's loads of links here. You can check all these out. The tank, uh, the, the down plane or missile, the cannon, the tank here. There's a gun here. These weird tubes. Check this out. This is a, these tubes are just insane. They actually go up and under each other. Some of them get, kind of go underneath and come back out. Like this one here. It goes under, comes back out there. Supposed to be dunes, right? Yeah, so you've really got to take what NASA are saying with a, pin, a very large pinch of salt because um, they're not totally lying to us, but what they have, what they do give us is half truths and BS mixed in with it. And uh, you've got to read between the lines. Basically, there was a war on Mars, and I was the first to do a video exposing what other people had said about Mars a long time ago, back in the 1940s. It explains here, in 1941, famous astronomer Clyde Tom Barrow certainly thought so, there was, that there was a nuclear explosion. Now, we're told by Dr. Brandenburg that it was many millions of years ago, or, or millions of years ago or something. I don't think it was, <clears throat> because this one was seen in 1941, and that would explain exactly why a lot of the remains that we see on the surface still look relatively new, because they're less than 100 years old. Most of the remains we're seeing are way, way older. But some of them, I think, are recent, less than 100 years, okay? It does fit what other people say when they've been finding things on the ground. They don't look that old, a lot of the things. A lot of the ruins are very ancient, but probably millions of years old. But a lot of these things don't look that old, okay? Especially this tank here. Now, would that survive for millions of years? I don't think so. I really don't. And these animal remains that I've been showing you today, would they survive millions of years? No. Uh, thousands? Yes, of course. Some of them may even still be alive, like the little meerkat thing here. Okay, so thanks for watching, everybody. Please share on social media, on Twitter or whatever. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.